There has been many studies on tissue regeneration, but there is still a lack of knowledge on the mechanism behind this regeneration process. It is very well known that the liver has a huge regeneration capacity after damage. We collaborate very strongly with Ben Simons. We are trying to understand how the liver develops because it's during this time that cells become specified into their different fates. Ben is actually helping us to model that mathematically and we're starting to see that the tissue develops in a different way as what we expected. We have to model systems that we utilize. We developed a culture system that mimics the liver tissue ex vivo. We call them mini liver organoids. Our cultures only mimic a part of the tissue, only the epithelial part. They cannot mimic the full body response to the damage. What we've seen sometimes is that in the mouse, the physiology of the organ allows for compensatory mechanisms. What happens when regeneration is impaired? When the tissue cannot respond to this damage? We need to use animals to answer these questions. The culture system was a pioneering system because for the first time, primary tissue from a normal healthy liver could be isolated and put in culture. This has a huge potential for drug discovery, for toxicology. We might want to test thousand drugs that might work for one particular disease or patient. We cannot do that in animals because it will imply to use thousands of animals to answer that simple question. It might allow in the future to reduce the number of animals that are used in research. And that's what the liver culture system is giving to the world, and that's why it was awarded the NC3S prize. Discovering how to grow these cells ex vivo has allowed us to move forward and ask other questions regarding how these cells activate the response. We believe generating good ex vivo models that mimic that process is essential for understanding what happens when this process is malfunctioning.